What's up, Cowboy Gang? Welcome back to some dynamics. So let's solve this problem. We have a 2.5 kilogram block with an initial velocity of three meters a second, and it's going up this 45 degree angle or ramp. And our goal is to find the time it takes to stop it. So this is all the information we're given, and it seems like not a lot, but using impulse we can figure it out, uh, and momentum and stuff like that. So usually you'd, you'd see a problem like this and you'd think, oh, let's use work energy. But work energy doesn't really involve time, so that's why we're not going to use it. So instead we're going to be using uh, the, mom the momentum equation, mass velocity one, plus the integral of the force times change of time is equal to the mass velocity two. So this is saying basically whatever, whatever our momentum is at the beginning, plus whatever changes we do, times the time we do it on, it's going to be the final momentum. So let's go ahead and solve for that. So let's plug in what we know, right? We know the mass is 2.5 kilograms. What's this force going to be? We should probably figure that out. That force is going to be the force of gravity, right? Gravity is what's pulling the block down. There's no friction on this block, so we don't have to worry about the force of friction. Um, so all we really are worried about is the gravity pulling the block down. So it's going to become mass velocity one plus there goes. So what's our what's our bounds going to be? Well, we're solving for time, so we don't know that final time. So we're just going to go from zero seconds to whatever that final time is. So t. So then what's our force? Well, force is the force of gravity. So mass times gravity. But then we need to multiply it by sine of 45 because mass of gravity isn't exactly pulling backwards on the momentum. It's pulling at a 45 degree angle backwards on the momentum. So we gotta put that sine 45 on. And of course that dt, that's what the mass velocity to. Okay, so we're here, so we can solve this integral really easy now. All right, so there's no t in this, and we're dragging or doing the integral with respect to t. So just the t is gonna come down. It's gonna become mass gravity time sine of 45 is equal to mass velocity 2. The masses are going to cancel because they're all the same. And we're solving for t, so we need to move this around uh, to get that. And then also velocity 2, right, we're going, we're waiting until it take, comes to a stop. So velocity 2 is going to be equal to 0. So basically we're changing velocity 1 plus gravity times sine of 45 is equal to 0. So then we're going to get a negative, but gravity is also negative, so it's going to work out just fine. Because this is a negative force, so just, right, this is going to be a negative number, so we're going to get t is equal to velocity 1 over gravity sine of 45. Okay, then let's plug in our numbers. So t is equal to, velocity initial is 3 meters a second, gravity is 9.81, sine of 45. Plug this in, you get 0 0.432 seconds. Hopefully that's legible, that's pretty hard to read. 0 0.432 seconds is how long it takes. There you go, we solved the problem. Not too tricky. It's actually just about understanding this equation. So if you are having trouble with this, we're gonna keep using this equation more in more complicated ways in the next videos. So check out my playlist. Uh, thanks for all the support and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.